My name is Sarah Corsa. I'm a general assignment features reporter here at the RJ, and that means I cover a wide range of stories. Um, it can be arts and culture, I do some health stories, um, human interest stories, and I've covered some of the different festivals here um, in Nevada. So the murals in downtown Las Vegas are something that interested me from the first time I came to Las Vegas. Um, I just moved here recently in the past six months or so, and the murals were really something that captured my interest in downtown. I mean, as you can see in the story, they are incredible. Um, they're like done by some of the most like famous street artists around the world, um, although that wasn't something I knew at the time. And so it was something I wanted to look into because we hadn't really covered um, the kind of street art scene here a lot. Um, and so pegging it to Life is Beautiful worked out really well because most of the murals in downtown currently have been painted for the past three years um, of the Life is Beautiful festival. Um, and so kind of going through and talking with the artist about um, what inspired them for the individual murals and kind of what their experience painting for Life is Beautiful um, was something that definitely interested me. Yeah, a lot of this was, the process for doing this article um, was kind of like throwing darts uh, at a dartboard and seeing which one stuck because there are so many and there are so many different people to get a hold of. Um, and a lot of these artists live around the world in like a whole variety of time zones. Um, they speak a whole variety of languages. Um, and so that was really interesting uh, trying to track people down. I think I used Instagram direct message for the first time to contact a source. Um, and so my strategy was really just reaching out to as many of these artists as I could um, in a variety of ways and then kind of using whoever got back to me. I think one thing that I would hope from the story is that people can appreciate like the time and effort and just pure talent that a lot of these um, artists put into their work. I mean, that was something that made me interested in the story is that, or I guess something that I really got out of it was learning about like the work of people that have a talent that I don't have, if that makes sense. So that was kind of fascinating to me is hearing them talk through um, how they come up with their ideas, where they get their inspiration, what their process is like. And so um, I think I would hope that after reading this, people when they're walking around downtown can say, I you know, read about the artist who painted this and I can know something about what went into creating it or kind of like the thought process behind it.